All right, so imagine now we've done all this stuff. I don't want to make, we can go into, you know, in depth into all this stuff. We can take, you know, five hours just talking about peacocking and, you know, showing you links on eBay of where to get good designer jeans for cheap. There's, there's all this stuff you can do. And like I said, if you get the coaching, then we can go into all that stuff in depth. But I just want to give you a general overview without making this video like four hours long. So let's imagine that we're past this point now. You're peacocked, right? fully flagged, I like to call it. Sometimes I use, I spray glitter in my hair, you know, got my shades on, got my, got this, you know, crazy, crazy beads on, and I, I got glow sticks duct taped to my arm, like, I just look like this party animal, okay? The, the girls are just gonna notice me no matter where I do it. Spread it, like a peacock spread on my feathers, like, look at me, girl, look at me, right? I'm the man. Okay, I got gum, I got fresh breath, I'm drinking some bottled water, I've pumped my state, I'm in a talkative state, kind of like I am now. I've been talking on this video for like an hour, and now I'm in a much more talkative state. Like, I could just come up with stuff off the top of my head. If I was talking to a girl, I could just, I could talk her ear off right now, and she'd be like, wow, this guy has great energy, and he's like conversational, he's confident, like, I'm in that flow state now, right? So let's imagine you get here. Now let's call this next place, let's call this game time, baby. Let's call it game time. Now it's game time. Like you're in the club, you're in the matrix, you're in the venue, and you're ready to start opening sets. Okay, so let's talk about what is a set. Basically, a set equals a person or a group of people or group of people, right? So a one set is one person. A two set is two people. A three set is three people and so on and so forth. Basically what that means is you want to start kind of looking at the, the group dynamic of things. So for example, if you see like two girls, right? And the thing is about women, they usually don't ever travel alone. They always travel in packs, right? They always travel with a friend or with a whole bunch of friends. So if you see two girls, right, let's call that a two set. And what I like to do is imagine like a hoop, a red hoop over their head. So when you walk through the club, you're going to see sets of people. For example, here's a, here's, a, here's a mixed set. This is a guy and a girl. Okay, there it, it's still a two set. Right? Two set. This is a two set, but it's a mixed two set, right? So it's a guy and a girl. It's my boys and girls in it. And then it might be a, you know, a three set. It might be two girls and a, and a guy. That might, uh, <laughs> that'd be a guy right here. My bad. Two girls and a guy, right? And maybe that's her brother. That could be her cousin. We don't know. We don't know the group dynamic. All we do. All right now is, is we see a, a three set, a two set, and another two set. And let's imagine this is the girl that you want. So we'll call her the target, right? She's the target of the group. My, D -A, my bad, I'm spelling shit wrong. T-A-R-G-E-T, -E the target, okay? Well, she got the T on her head. So that's the target in the two set. The other girl, we'll call her the obstacle, right? And anybody else who's not the target, they're just kind of like obstacles, right? They're just people that are in the way of me getting to what I want. I got to get this girl's phone number. That's the goal right here. We got to get her phone number so we can put her in the queue, make her a lead. But what do we do about the obstacle, right? Let's imagine this girl is like her fat friend. Like she's a fat, nasty bitch, right? And she's got a bad attitude. She doesn't want you to talk to her friend. We got to get through the obstacle to get to the target. I'm going to teach you how to do that. So before we even get to that point, before we even get to the point of like spitting game on the target, what we want to do is we want to start out by what's called short setting. Okay, so we know what sets are. First, we're going to start doing what's called short setting. And this is how I do it. It's one of my favorite pickup artist techniques. So like we were talking about, I want to get to her, but I don't want to just go right into the club and start talking to my dream girl. Like this girl, this girl is a 10 out of a 10. She's gorgeous, right? And the other girl, her fat friend, she's like a four out of 10, right? But let's imagine these two girls over here, 
And let's imagine she's a 6 out of a 10 and her friend is like a 7 out of 10. And let's imagine that this girl is a, uh, I don't know, she's a 6 out of, out, of, out of 10. All right, now we've got something to work with. Instead of going right to your target, it's not the type of game plan we're trying to run here. We're trying to run some, some tight, real, strategical game. That's why people call me an aggressive dating coach. I use aggressive dating tactics like this in order to get what I want. So let's imagine we're, we're coming in the venue. This is the entrance, right? This is, this is the bar over here, right? Here's the, we'll call this the bar. It puts a little couple of seats right here. Here's the bartender back here, right? And over here is, we'll call that the toilet, right? That's, a, that's the toilet. There's the, the, the men's, I'll put a little male symbol and a, and a female toilet right here, okay? And if we can, we want to eventually get the target into the toilet to get our dick sucked or fuck her in the bathroom within uh, five minutes to 45 minutes or an hour, an hour and a half at the, the max or something like that. If a girl is attracted to you like that, they will have sex with you within five minutes. I've done it before a lot of times. Generally, when you have to wait longer, she's looking at you more of like a provider role, boyfriend role or something like that. And you can play that game too. But again, the game that I'm trying to teach you is just how to get laid. We're not trying to be her boyfriend right now. We just want to rack up some scores. We want to get some trophies. So the whole point right here, what we want to do, the first thing, like we said, we want to pump your save. We want to start short setting, right? So what we do is we kind of come in here and we want to go to the bar first. You don't want to order a drink unless you want to order, like I said, you might want to get just a bottle of water. You don't want to get alcohol. You can grab a bottle of water and then you want to kind of talk to the bartender for a minute. Hey man, how's your day going? You shake his hand, act like you're a VIP. You might even want to ask him like, hey man, is the owner of the club around? I just want to ask him a question. And he's going to call the owner in. Now the owner comes back. You shake the owner and say, hey man, what's going on? Like what I like to say is, you know, I'm, I'm new in town and guess what? This is my new playground. This is my new home. And I just want to say, hey, what's up? You'll probably see me around. I like to come by, get some drinks. I just want to come by and... Okay, whatever you say, it doesn't really matter. The whole point is that all these girls see you talking to the owner of the club and to the bartender. And that basically builds what's called social proof. Build social proof, right? That's important because now I'm not just some guy in the club. I'm somebody important and I'm dressed like a rock star. So I must be someone important. And girls will see that. Who is that guy who's dressed in these crazy, like, dressed like he's at a rave and he's talking to the owner of the club? He must be a rock star. Is he in a band? Like, is he famous? Is he a celebrity? So that starts building the interest of, you know, your audience right here. That's building your social proof. Your, uh, right, your value in the club. And let's say if there's a waitress or something like that. You might want to talk to her, maybe there might be another bartender and just kind of, you know, do something interesting right there. Now, after that, what you want to do is you got your water. Now, whew, you're going to go over here and you're going to start, like I said, you're going to start short setting. So we're going to talk to these people right here. We're going to open this two set, this mixed two set, this guy and this girl. The goal here isn't to get her number or the, 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 goal, the goal here is basically, again, to establish kind of a presence and let the target see you. Let all the other, you know, there's a lot more people in the club here, right? They're all, all the eyes eventually are gonna be on you. Who is that guy? So you walk up to these guys and the goal again, like I said, is not to get her number. The goal is just to build the social proof, make it look like you have friends, like you're not there by yourself. Because from her perspective, Dude, this could be your brother and this could be, you know, your, you, this could be your girlfriend. They don't know. That's the whole point. So you walk up and you're just like, hey, high five, what's going on? Or like I said, you've got your, you've got your water, so you might chink their glasses. And you just walk, these guys, if you walked this way, you could chink their glass. Hey, guys, how's your night going? Have a good night. Hey, I like that shirt. Hey, keep the vibe pumping. Hey, do you guys know who's the DJ? Like, I love this song. Cheers, cheers. You're chinking glasses. And you walk up to these guys, and we'll call that now your warm-up set. Warm-up set, right? 
So you're, you're building your social proof, you're chinking glasses, you're talking to people. Now you're doing a little warm-up set. So for example, I don't really want to use my brain power, my RAM, to try to think of like, what's the best pickup line, right? Because when you do that, then you end up walking up to a girl and you're blank. And you go, uh, I don't know what to say. Um, hey, uh, I love this song, don't you? And she's just like, what the fuck? Like, so what I like to do is canned openers. So what we want to do basically is called open, right? You got to open the set. You got to start the conversation. And so a secret pickup line of mine is called the 6-9 opener. I like to call it the 6-9 line, right? Now everybody on YouTube knows who 6-9 is. He's a rapper with rainbow hair and rainbow teeth. Looks all kind of crazy, right? He's one of the top rappers in the world right now. Whether you like his music or you hate his music, doesn't matter. You know who he is. He's got millions of views, multi-millionaire, um, rainbow hair, rainbow teeth. You can't miss him, right? So everybody in the club most likely is going to know who 6 9 is. And like I said, this is some, an opener that I use. You can use it yourself or you can take the principles in what I'm doing and make your own unique opener. So what I do is I'll walk up to this group of people. Now this opener is already memorized. All I have to do is say the line and follow the body language, just follow the pattern. But it's a warm-up set. Again, we're not trying to get her number. We're just basically making it look like they're my friends. Like, I might have come to the club with them, but it makes it look like I'm not by myself. I'm not just some random guy walking around with candy beads on it. So, for example, like I, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk up... I'm gonna walk up to this group, to the, to the, to the guy and the girl, and I'm gonna go, hey, you guys seem cool. Like, I, 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 need, I need a random opinion. Like, do, do you know the rapper 6 9 And they're either gonna say yes, or they're gonna say no, most likely they're gonna say yes. If they say no, then I'll pull out my phone, and I'll go, this is a crazy rapper, he's got rainbow hair and teeth, right? So it's kind of interesting. It's not like I'm just walking up going, hey guys, how's your night going? I'm not some weird guy. I'm just casually asking them this weird, different question that's going to kind of, do, oh, what's, okay, like, what's going on? Like, who, who rainbow hair and teeth, wow, that guy looks crazy, right? It's something emotional and thought-provoking and, and controversial. So I'll go, and I'll turn to the girl, and i go, do you, like, do you think he's hot? And then she'll go, she'll either she's going to say yes, or she's going to say no. She'll probably most likely say no, right? <laughs> Especially with, if she's with this dude who might be her boyfriend, again. Um, so I'm like, well, okay, get this. Okay, my, my niece, like, she's, she just turned seven. She's in love with this dude. Like, she's obsessed. She, she says when she grows up, she's going to marry him. Like, what do you think about that? And she's going to go, oh, my God, right? And the guy's going to be like, what the fuck? And so I go, yeah. So anyway, like, she convinced me to buy her this poster on Amazon of him for her birthday, right? And it's like a six-foot-tall poster. She hung it on her wall. And I guess, you know, her mom walked in, and she's like, she's thinking, what the fuck is this? Like, and she calls me, like, what do you think about that? Okay, something random like that. And then it doesn't really matter what you're saying. Like, you can come up with any line in order to replace that piece of conversation. But the whole idea is to get them kind of laughing and getting them, getting them moving as if I'm not just some guy who's having this a mundane conversation with strangers and sitting there talking, looking bored like a robot. I want it to look like I'm friends with these people so that this girl sees that, okay, he's not by himself. He has friends. He looks like a rock star. He knows people. Like, hmm, this guy is interesting. That's the whole point right there. So as you're talking to them for a few minutes, like, if you get a good vibe, yeah, keep talking to them, hang out for a minute or whatever, and if you're not getting a good vibe, if, if they're kind of boring and, and whatever, then you can be like, oh, anyway, I just want to get your guys' opinion, you know, help you guys have a good night, and then, you know, and then, of, of course, give them a toast, and then you leave, right? So, that's your, that's like a warm-up set. Now, you can do that on as many different people as you want until you get warmed up, until you get your opener down. But the idea here is, now I'm a little warmed up. Oops, well, wrong pin. But the idea here is, now I'm a little warmed up, so I'll walk over here, boom, and I'll talk to these girls, right? There's two girls and this dude, okay? And out of, out of the corner of my eye, I see a hot girl. I'm like, ooh, there's my target. It's about time to, 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 to open that, to, to, to play some of that real game, to go for that real pussy. But before I do that, I'm going to do another warm-up set, and I'm going to try to see if I can get these girls. I'm going I'm I'm to show you how to do this. So... This girl's like a 6 out of 10 and a 7 out of 10, right? Like, again, you don't want to go straight for the 10 out of 10 because she, we haven't really 
earned that yet. Especially if you're a guy who's not a 10 out of 10 in looks himself. If you're like a guy like myself of average looks or even below average looks, you need to come with something to the plate. So what we do right here is we go to this other set right here, a six and a seven and this guy. And walk up to them and you go, same thing. Hey guys, random question. I just, okay, so I just need a female opinion. Like, have you guys heard of the rapper 6 9 Okay, get this. You know, my little niece and you go into the little story again. And you get them kind of laughing, get them intrigued or whatever. And then you ask something like, so how do you guys know each other? All right, so now we're getting to, to the dynamic of the, of, the, of the group right here. And let's imagine this girl goes, oh, she's my friend from work or we're all friends from work or something like that. So then you go, oh, look, that's not her boyfriend. If she says, oh, this is my husband, okay, it doesn't really matter because we're not trying to pick up these girls anyway. We're just kind of chit-chatting again. We're, we're, we're bouncing around, letting the target know that we're this confident guy, like just who's able to talk to people and bounce around. And again, the target has no idea. I could be friends with these people. We, me, we, we might all go to work together or something like that. We might, I might be the lead singer in a band and that might be the, the bass player. They don't know. But the idea is we talk to the girl, we say the same opener, and at that point, then basically, if you're getting a good vibe, you do something like, hey, well, let's go meet some friends. Hey, I want to introduce you to some friends of mine. Come hang out. So they weren't really doing anything anyway, and they walk with you. And that whew, is where you roll up to this set, this two set right here. And so the same thing, you can come in and be like, hey, guys, so, you know, we were just talking, and I need a female opinion. You, got, you guys know the rapper 6 9 Like, I was just telling them, blah, 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 right? So you kind of open the set now again. And that sounds kind of weird because you go, wait a minute, that doesn't sound like a pickup line. I thought you're trying to like get her number. And that is the secret of these types of openers is because you come in under the radar. It makes it seem from the girl's perspective that you're not trying to hit on her. You're not coming up like these other guys going, oh, you're so hot. Like, do you want to dance with me? Can I buy you a drink? You're just this cool guy dressed like a rock star who seems popular. And it's just like, hey, you guys seem cool. Let me ask, you guys know this, the rapper 6 9 Like, real quick, like, what do you guys think? Right, so I'm not trying to hit on her. And, because most times you got a, a girl who's an obstacle, she's like the cock block, right? And she might, she's looking out for guys that are trying to hit on her hot friend. And this way, it doesn't seem like you're hitting on her, so the obstacle will lower her guard, okay? So as you open the set, the next thing you want to do is you want to throw what's called a neg, okay? A neg, standing for negative, or negative compliment. Most guys, they always simp, they kiss girls' asses, they suck up to them, they tell them how beautiful they are, they comment on their pictures, heart eye emojis. And when you do that, you basically go in even worse than being in the friend zone, you go into what's called the fan zone. And if you treat a girl like a celebrity, she'll treat you like a fan. You can't do that. Because girls, what they really want from guys is validation and attention. They, they, they seek it. They need it like a drug. They need a hit of that validation. So what you do is you flip it on them. You give them, instead of a compliment, you give them a negative compliment. And I'll show you how to do that. Now.